How do y'all? I thought I'd do a quick run through of my uh, Vic Divide 550 setup that uh, heads off on Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Uh, yes, longest race I've ever done, shitting myself, um, but freaking I love an adventure, so this is going to be ace. Um, all right, so bike is Flanders Bossberg dual suspension. Um, thank you, Paul Redenback, for sorting me out with that a while back. Um, look, main bike packing gear is, I guess, starting with what I'm wearing. Um, wrapper, protein, aero jersey. Love these things. Thank you, Chris Stack and Darcy for sorting me out. Bibs, bum's going to be in the saddle for a long time. So have got a set of the Rafa cargo bibs. So they've got pockets in the, in the legs, which is ace. They're super comfy. Um, what other kit? Helmet, running Jimmy Whelan's old um, EF helmet. It's getting a bit faded, but I love this thing. It kind of brings me good luck, so I like it now. Um, it's got an exposure light. It's got uh, a little light on the front. Runs on AAA batteries I can swap out. Um, photochromic um, Oakley lenses uh, for day and night, because we'll be riding through the night. Um, what else have we got on the day? All about being seen, so I've got my little lightweight um, pop fluoro vest. This thing is so bright, no one can miss me. Um, even a helicopter if I'm stuck out in the middle of nowhere, maybe. Um, specialised gel gloves, because the hand's copper hiding. Um, merino buff, uh, raffer under top. Um, Castelli um, Gabba arm warmers, those things are ace. A uh, heart rate strap, there's probably not too many people running power meters on their bike pack and setups, but this thing has my SRM on it. Um, love my data, and it's going to be very interesting to see post-race how it all looked. Um, main thing, uh, I'm running a Camelback, or well, this thing's an Osprey Duro 6 um, vest, more than a, just a, a hydration pack. It has... Um, Pockets on the front, it's got zips on the front. I've got my Garmin Mini uh, satellite tracker that we um, we have to carry. That's the little fella. I'll put a link up the top somewhere so you can see on map progress how we're going. So 6 a.m. we start Saturday morning. And you can dot watch and stalk us along the way. Um, okay, in the backpack, look, it's, this thing's all for food, really. Um, the light setup I've got is, um, I don't have a dynamo hub, so I'm running um, a couple of different lights that hopefully my batteries can get me through with maybe one charge of one of them overnight. Um, so I've got an exposure Diablo, that's that one. An exposure joystick light, that goes on the helmet as well, like so. Um, then the main light is a Glowworm XS, and for that I've got uh, two batteries in this little front bag. Um, one's a four cell, should last all night and a bit more hopefully on sort of the medium setting. And I've got a second two cell battery for the second night hopefully. Um, what else is in here? So just food, um, water filter. I use the Catadyne one. Works pretty good. The, the rate's pretty good when you squeeze it out. Um, food, I love Snickers. I've got Snickers. Um, oh, I'll put a couple of images up of how much food I'm kind of carrying with me. My schedule means I'm pretty much riding through most of the reef stock towns at weird times. So I'm pretty much only going to have two stops. One in uh, Marysville where I plan on buying like a dozen cinnamon donuts because I love those things and they've got lots of fat and lots of carbs in them and some other things there. The next one's pretty much Myrtleford so I'll ride over Buller down the other side then restock at a supermarket in Myrtleford. Um, but in the backpack just lots of cliff bars, pump, snake bandage, mask, bag of cocaine because I'm going across the border. No, that's actually um, Perpetuum, so that's my like maltodextrin sort of complex carbohydrate that I use. It, um, I just try and stay away from like 
fast, rapid acting carbs. This is a bit more of a slow burn, so I've got them in little bags, um, Ziploc bags, so I can add them to my bit and make it pretty much a slushy out of it and just chug on that and then chase it down with water. Um, spare tubes, I've got the Tubalito little mini ones, or the real small ones. I've also got a proper rubber butyl one, just because I don't trust those possibly. Um, random cookies. Uh, that's about it. In the bag is a bunch of spare stuff. I've got all my electrics, so spare battery from a little headlamp, uh, a thousand, 10,000 amp hour battery bank, um, some AAA batteries and a couple of charge cables. Spare gear cable um, for this bike. Uh, money, pills like Nurofen, Panadol, um, caffeine chewing gum, uh, no dose, eight dollars in coins specifically for the Buller Information Center vending machine. I was doing, I did my recon. It's available to everyone. It only takes coins. It does have a card thing, but it wasn't working, so I've got coins. Um, some spares, toilet paper, um, extra chamois cream, first aid stuff, some band aids, lighter in case I'm uh, stuck somewhere and cold <laughs> in a hut. Um, what else is in there? Fork, I'll show you why I've got that for later. Or fork, spork, whatever it is. Chain lube, um, that's about it. It's got a one and a half litre bladder. Uh, in reach mini, I'm pretty sure I showed that. Um, what else is in it? Uh, salt tabs and what else is in there? There's something down the bottom. Oh, barocas for some vitamin B. Very critical in the energy cycle breakdown of fats and carbohydrates in the old TCA cycle. Good old vitamin Bs. Need lots of those. Um, okay, onto the bike. Uh, camelback, bin. I've got my spares. Um, I've only got the one bin because I've got the camelback. So I've got um, my spares in here, uh, in the spares. I guess everyone wants to see what spares are, it's pretty important. Um, I have a rear derailleur hanger, the um, fibre spoke fixy things, a little bit of chain link, um, CO2 head, big CO2 cartridge, spare cleat, um, Crank Brothers multi-tool with a chain breaker. Found this thing on the road up near Eild and on the gravel road when I was doing my recon rides for this ride. So this thing's, I guess it was there to help me. Don't know whose it was, but thank you, it's been ace. Uh, Dynaplug, that's like a mega one with a big chunky one and some other small ones. Wolf tooth chain link um, pliers and a couple of uh, quick links in there. Tire lever, um, that is Duct tape, did you know duct tape works as a really well, or the, the, the fibre tape works really well as a fire lighter. It actually burns for like a minute if you've got a little bit of it, so it acts as a good fire lighter. Plus fixing your tyres, I've got some park tools, boots, um, sleeves as well, valve cores, uh, valves, stuff like that. Uh, spray metal brake pads, I've got brand new ones in front and back and new rotors, so I should be fine though. A little mini gerba, which is pliers and bits and pieces in case. Um, I need to MacGyver anything. Uh, the rest is just cleat stuff. Couple of spare bolts for stem and bits and pieces. Uh, what else is in here? Okay, so bags are Apidura race bags with just an Apidura feed bag. And it's actually a, I think it's a speed sleeve, um, little um, handlebar bag on the front. So, in the back one, sunscreen, just clipped on there. Orange Velcro um, strap, I can put stuff under it, do it up tight, like my vest and stuff if I need to dry it. Um, the, the, what is it, backcountry cuisine dehydrated meal. Probably gonna put cold water in it, stick it up my jersey, let it warm up a little bit, eat that. That's what that fork was for. Or if I make it to Bulla, I'm pretty sure there's hot water in the toilets there. So I might be able to add some hot water there. That's my one stop where I might have a bit of a sleep so I can eat. 
um, then sleep, let it absorb in and hopefully get down the hill okay. Um, a, what is it, Arcteryx Gore-Tex Shake Dry Rain Jacket. Um, wrapper, merino, long sleeve, under top in case I get cold at night. Um, wrapper, long sleeve, uh, long finger, warm gloves. Castelli uh, uh, knee warmers. Um, wrapper down jacket. And second pair of Pearl Azumi Merino socks. There's a couple of river crossings, like it's gonna be in the middle of the night. So if I get cold, wet feet, I can just swap them out to some dry socks. And lastly, a Soul Emergency Bivy. I think this is the Soul Escape Light, I think. Um, supposed to be waterproof, supposed to breathe, supposed to save my life if I'm freezing cold. Um, all right. Um, bike uh, running gear is all SRAM Eagle XX1. I've swapped out the bl bloody gear changer because the damn SRAM Eagle XX1 one has this adjustable thing and it kept like moving on me so I just put a cheaper one on. Thank you Oscar Stevenson for sorting that out. Um, navigation is, I've got a two, so I've got a Garmin E-Trex 32X. Uh, God, those things are like Ataris, but that following the line's good. Doesn't beep at you when you're offline, but uh, or off course, but still, it's it's more accurate than the edges. I think. Also got an Edge 1030 Plus, which I will run on battery save mode, um, so I can collect data. So it's like heart rate strap, power meter, and stuff goes to that thing. That should last over 40 hours on battery save mode. I'll run the map on that as well. If I'm off course and I have the course turned on on that, there's a couple of spots where the tracks disappear off the sort of, it's hard to spot them. If I'm not looking at the e tracks I'm likely to ride past it, but I'll have, it should warn me and tell me I'm off course. So hopefully I can get back on course without riding too far. Um, front setup is the exposure Diablo light, e tracks quad lock, I'll run my phone there, mostly it'll be in my pocket, but I've got a quad lock um, on there so I can have my phone if I'm sorting through uh, songs or whatever, safe hanging on to it. Um, Apidura feed bag, um, there is the wireless remote for my glowworm light on the front, so save having to press buttons, I can just go high, uh, high beam, low beam, medium beam or whatever. Uh, I have the Easy Grip Chunkies, those things are awesome, my hands have been pretty good with them. And these are Cane Creek bar ends to um, just change up position, like you get so sore sitting like that, so it's nice to be able to just change it. Um, uh, what else is there? Um, I think that's about it, really. Uh, 34 tooth on the front. I think it's a 50 on the back. Um, I've got a red knob flashy light for the back if I'm on main roads. Um, what's in here? So all here is just my food. I've just got a stack of cliff bars. I've done the math as to how many I need. Uh, calories wise, I'm probably trying to aim for 400 calories an hour maybe, um, depending upon how hard I'm going. So I've just got cliff bars galore. My other favourite, oh, I'm losing them, is these little baked oat slice bars. Thanks Nick Norton for putting me onto these things because I actually have 10 more grams of carbs per bar than the other nut ones I was eating. So these are actually better. Um, what else that's in there? Oh, the front one, little front bag is yeah, just more of the uh, bars. So there's a fair bit loaded up. I'll hopefully get lighter as I go on. Um, oh, is that about it? I think that's it. That's lights, that's everything. Oh, tires, Maxxis, Icon 2.2s, they're pretty good. Put some new ones on like a week or so ago. So they're running, I know they're working. 
Um, remote lockout for the front fork, so if I'm climbing or it's on a smooth road, I can lock the front suspension out so it doesn't bounce around. Um, I think that's it, folks. Um, yeah. If you want to follow us on the journey, as I said, I'll put the link in this bio. Um, it'll be on my Facebook page as well. I'll put up a post to everyone, family and friends, so they can see where I'm going. Um, so you can watch the dots the, on map progress. I'll put the link to that. Or if you want to jump on Vic Divide Facebook page and you'll see a few details. There'll probably be some comments and stuff popping in from proper dot watchers seeing how we're going. Otherwise, that's about it. My only goal is to get to the other end as quick as I can. <laughs> I don't actually know what that is. Um, Lewis said on who creates the courses, he's done it the fastest so far. Like that guy's a machine. I've got so much respect for all these bike packers that just commit to going through and not stopping at all. Um, like little mini dirt naps when they need them and then get going again. And like, I don't even know if I'm capable of that, but I will. I'm interested to see how far I can go without completely falling apart. Um, yeah, so I finished this and then next week, and I've got to get get to the finish line, finish, have a few days rest, and then I've got three peaks the following weekend. Don't know how my legs are gonna be. The eight hour group might be riding up the road from me, but uh, I'll see how I pull up. So thanks folks. Um, I think that's about it. I'll wrap it up. Cheers.